Y'all ready to go? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Governor, can you just tell us why, why is it important for you to talk with individual business owners and general managers about job creation in the state? Why is it important to hear from them? Well, one of the dangers in my job is it's easy to get uh, overwhelmed with a lot of different data that comes in and be stuck in your office uh, a long way from the front lines, whether it be education uh, or businesses. And the things we think they're problems may or may, or may not be their real problems. So when you get kind of real feedback from folks who are actually investing capital in Tennessee, I think that's helpful. And it sounds like I have a lot of good ideas that you want to implement here in the state. A lot of people want to know when is this going to start happening? When will more jobs start? Well, I mean, I think it's beginning that. Obviously, we're very difficult economic environment. Again, just here in Morristown, this week we've had two good announcements. We think we have several more coming. Um, I mean, I don't think any of us are kidding ourselves that you know, we're all the way out of the woods when it comes to the economy. But um, are there hopeful signs around Tennessee? You bet. What stuck out in your mind about the pros and cons you heard in there today? You know, actually it's pretty interesting the feedback I get across when we do this. It, the, the most overwhelming feedback pro is always the spirit of Tennessee workers, the guy who talked about the low absenteeism rate, um, the, the kind of willingness of the workforce always comes out strong. Um, the negative is usually around the education and preparation level uh, for folks, and particularly as it gets to the more technical skill jobs. That's why I think some of the changes we're making and uh, improvement around education are so important. You've talked a lot about uh, businesses needing to feel like they can risk capital. Do you have the feeling that businesses in Tennessee have the capital to risk to create jobs? I, I, think, they, I think they, I mean, obviously it's different. I mean, you know, all businesses aren't the same, so some more than others. But I actually do think the issue right now in our country, uh, Tennessee, but in our country, is businesses and individuals having the confidence to, uh, to invest, whether it be to spend, to uh, invest capital, build new buildings, hire new people if you're businesses, or if you're a consumer to go out and uh, uh, and uh, be back in the market purchasing things. And I don't think that confidence level is here mainly because of a lot of uncertainty coming out of Washington. Uh, and until that happens, I don't think you're going to see the economy turn around. We've just seen the July unemployment numbers come out. Um, and just what are your thoughts? I mean, as it You've been in office now a little while, starting to make progress? I mean, what do you think? I, I, mean, I think we are. I mean, again, we're making, I feel like we're making some headway in Tennessee, and I feel good about that. Again, it's hard to separate the state from kind of what's happening nationally. Uh, and I, again, I think some of the uncertainty uh, coming out of Washington is impacting job growth, not just here, but everywhere. Um, so we're. Hopefully something will change out of Washington where people say, I, I know the rules I'm playing by, uh, they're clear, and I'm willing to invest capital. What's your message to some of those people who are at home unemployed? Uh, 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 first of all, you know we, we, we understand uh, how painful that is, and a lot of folks have been unemployed for a long time. Second, we really are doing everything we can in Tennessee to create jobs here. Uh, and the third is, like everything else, uh, I, I'd love to say, you know, we're going to be out of this problem uh, tomorrow or next month, but uh, I think the economy still has some work to do. Uh, like I said, like everything else, take care of the basics, make certain we're providing great education, people taking advantage of those opportunities, uh, make certain that uh, our businesses um, have, I think they have the right kind of environment here to grow. Uh, because until they're willing to invest capital, we're not going to have jobs.